CITP is the Center for Information Technology Policy, and it's a cross-disciplinary group at Princeton that works on the intersection between digital technology and public life. It started years ago with a bunch of faculty, including me, who were really interested in how information technology was changing society and how public policy decisions were, were being made about technology. We thought that we could contribute to making these decisions better, and, uh, and we wanted to find a way to do that. Technology moves very quickly, and the policy process historically has moved more slowly. One of the things we want to foster in CITP is a way for the policy process to catch up with the speed of technology. Many of us in CITP are involved in public policy processes. We go to Washington. I've testified before Congress about digital television policy, about electronic voting policy, um, and I've been involved in a bunch of other uh, policy issues. Going to Washington, meeting the people, and understanding what the conversation is that's going on there is really important. It helps us understand how we can be involved and it helps us focus our research in ways that will be most useful in pushing the policy discussion forward. CITP has participating faculty and students from a number of different departments from computer science and electrical engineering, from sociology, politics, the Wilson School. There are really a broad range of people who are interested in technology and policy issues and we want to throw the door open to all of them. If you look at where our new building is, it's a bridge, both physically and metaphorically, between engineering and the social sciences and public policy. It's halfway in between the engineering school and computer science on the one hand, and uh, sociology and the Wilson School and economics uh, on the other hand. One of the most important parts of the new building for CITP is the way that it brings people together and will foster conversations and collaborations. Just having a space where CITP people can have their offices, where we'll bump into each other in the hall, is valuable. We also, in the new space, have a large common room that's designed as a gathering area. There's one long wall that's all whiteboards, and there's furniture that people can sit in and stand and talk. And we really want to create a central place where people can come and talk about technology and policy, a place where they can go for a conversation both metaphorically on campus, but also physically in our own space in the new building. Another important thing about the building that we think matches the work we are doing is that it's transparent. You look at this building and you have this feeling that you can see what's going on inside. And one of our areas of research is the way that digital technology enables government and institutions in general to be more transparent and more accountable. Uh, technology lets us see uh, what's happening on the inside. It lets people uh, read the facts themselves and reach their own conclusions. And so that's an ethos that I think runs through both the space that we live in uh, and the work we do. The grad students are the primary research doers on the ground in CITP. My research is about computer security, specifically practical problems in computer security that affect a large number of people. In the future, there will be new security threats we have to deal with, things like botnets, where tens or hundreds of thousands of computers controlled by criminals threaten the security and safety of uh, businesses and individuals online. And we're looking for solutions to the botnet problem that involve new technologies for making home computers more secure, as well as changes to public policy, ways to uh, better coordinate uh, responses in law enforcement, and ways to uh, change the incentives of attackers and defenders. Security is just one piece of what CITP does. One example of a technological prediction we can make is that about 10 years from now, you'll be able to get an iPod that costs maybe $100 and fits in your pocket and holds all of the music ever recorded by humanity. New structures, new economic models need to evolve between now and 10 years from now to deal with that technology because we know it's coming. One of the things that we try to do in CITP is see these things coming so that we can start the policy discussion early so that solutions can be ready in time. I think that we're really filling a niche. There's nobody else who's doing quite what Princeton is and I think we're all very excited to be a part of it.